Welcome to MyQ Community. This video will show you how to add people in the MyQ Community web portal. To add users to your property, click the People tab. People management is where you add users with varying levels of access, such as community administrators and residents. We'll start with adding an administrator. When adding a user that will have administrative access, you will need to assign them a role and add an email address. They will receive a notification that they have been granted access to join the account on the MyQ Community web portal. Assign a role to the user. There are six options in the Roles drop-down menu. None, Access Manager, Dealer Manager, and Dealer Tech. You may or may not have a dealer involved with your facility. If not, you can reassign these for internal use. However, they cannot be renamed. Facility Manager and Facility Owner. Users who don't need to have access to the database, such as landscapers or maintenance people, do not need to have a role assigned. Entering the email address gives you the option to send a web portal and or app invite. If you want the user to have access to the property through the MyQ Community web portal, you'll need to toggle the button to send the invite. If you do not wish the user to have MyQ access, leave this unchecked. You'll enter their credential information later. Only users with admin roles will be able to have the web portal invite and access. After you click Save, you'll see confirmation that the invite has been sent. Now, let's add a resident. When you assign a resident, you'll have the option to send them an email invite to join the MyQ Community mobile app. Address and phone number are optional entries. However, phone numbers are required for a resident to be displayed in the directory list in order for visitors to call and be granted access. Names displayed in the directory list will be shown as last name, comma, first name. The directory name field acts as an override if the name is to be displayed in another format. Credentials is where you'll assign an entry code to a specific user. You can create your own code or generate a random one with a specific number of digits. Once the code is entered, click Verify to ensure the code works and is not already in use. If your property access options include using remotes or RFID transmitters, you can select those in the drop-down menu. An activation date is required. This typically is the date the user is created but can also be set at a future date, such as the date a new resident will be moving in. Access expiration dates are optional, but useful if you know the exact date a resident is moving out, or if you want to grant access to users temporarily. Select the appropriate access group. Click Save. The user has successfully been added. For further information, speak with your customer success manager or visit our support website. Thank you for choosing LiftMaster, powered by MyQ.